In a previous video, I showed you the basics of our positionless offense. With this video, I want to show you the ways that we scored most frequently and what were the biggest threats when running this offense. As you'll see in this clip, we like to drag screen in transition to try to get a little bit of dribble penetration. We're trying to pass, cut, and create space on the perimeter. Each player is passing and cutting and pausing in the playmaker spot, which is also called the short corner. On this particular possession, we're going to get the ball to the playmaker spot. after an attack with a short back down dribble attack it draws the defense and we get a kick out three another way we were able to create scoring opportunities was by passing and cutting hitting basket cutters and hitting backdoor cutters when the defense paid too much attention to the drive or overplayed from the wings One of our concepts that we used was, when you were dribbled at, you should back cut. You can see a dribble at and back cut here. Let's slow this clip down and break it down one more time. On our dribble penetrations into the paint, we wanted to jump stop, and we wanted to back cut off of that jump stop especially when we saw the defender's head turned. Here are a couple other examples of scoring off of back cuts. There's an overplay in back cut. And in this clip, you'll see another dribble at and back cut. Again, notice all five players passing, cutting, and pausing in the playmaker spot. That creates good spacing and eventually sets up this backdoor cut. Probably the most frequent way that we scored was off dribble penetration. We drove big gaps that were created by player movement in our passing cut motion. Here you'll see a great back cut that's going to lead to a big gap and a penetration to get fouled. On this possession, we get several dribble drives into the paint, putting a lot of pressure on the defense. Attacking an open side. Again, attacking a big gap. Kicked out again, and a paint touch that we didn't quite finish. On this possession, we get some great pass and cut player movement that creates a big gap. We also wanted to use our drives and paint touches to create kickouts for open threes or kickouts for long closeouts that we could drive again. Here we see a kick out to an open three. On this possession, we'll see drives into the paint in big gaps that are going to create kickouts to long closeouts and second and third drives into the paint in the possession. Very similar to pure dribble drive offense. It was always it was often the second or third drive on a possession that led to breakdowns in the defense. Here's another multiple dribble attack possession before we get a layup.
Another big point of emphasis was finding the playmaker spot off penetration. I like to have the playmaker around the rim for drop offs after dribble penetration when the defense stepped up to help. I would even consider leaving one player in the playmaker spot permanently and letting the other four guys be positionless. Potentially putting your best finisher or your traditional big man in that spot to finish around the rim and the offensive rebound. We use the concept called loop, which is looping underneath the hoop away from a drive to get easy layups and offensive rebounds on the weak side. Coaches, I hope you liked this video and found it helpful. Um, I will put a link to my previous video, uh, the installation of positionless offense, in the description. I would also appreciate it if you would like and subscribe to the channel. Best of luck this year.